everyone, and welcome back to, I believe this is day 14 of Animal Crossing. Um, today we will be meeting Tucker, I think, is moving in, as well as doing whatever we need to do to get a three-star rating to help contribute towards that. I'm not sure all what we're missing, but let's get in there and figure this out together. Hello, Isabel. Isabel says, good morning, everyone. Right now on Rose Pond, it's 11.56 a.m. on Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Rose Pond welcome to Bertha. Bertha, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. That's all for today. Have, have a fun day out there. Okay, so because I didn't get on yesterday, I guess, you know, the game works in real time. So even if I'm not on, the game is still going. So it must have moved Tucker in. Um, and then went ahead and welcomed Bertha. So my Animal Crossing world continues to move on even when I'm not there. Hey Birdie, just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom doll merch. Nifty, right? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. Thank you. Oh, and from my bestie. Dear Birdie, love you bestie from Jesse. What did we get? Hope you like this from Jesse. Thank you, bestie. Sometimes, oh, <laughs> to stone abs birdie. Sometimes writing letters is nice because you can write things that you might not say out loud in person. Then again, I say almost everything out loud. Yours in soreness, Rowan. <laughs> oh, Nook Inc. gave me another thousand Nook miles for moving someone in. And we have a total of 2,000 for that now. Awesome. And Label gave us our, our gift. Sorry, I was checking on my dog. It sounded like she fell. To Birdie, you were very helpful the other day. Here are two Taylor's tickets as a thank you. You can exchange them for items 3,000 bells or less at the Taylor shop. Enjoy. Okay, so from my bestie Jesse are the first two here. Oh, nope, nope, these two are from Jesse. This is from the Dodo Airlines. <laughs> Aw, thank you, bestie. Some cherry speakers. I love them. And a cherry lamp. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse is my bestie. I think I've stated it before in another um, episode of mine of Animal Crossing that she too has a channel. If you like the game Wildflowers or Mario Kart, she's got some videos on her channel of those. And I absolutely love the Wildflowers gameplay. That game is so peaceful. I've never really seen anything about it, heard anything about it, but watching it, it's been very relaxing. So thank you so much, Jesse, for sharing it. All of these houses, <laughs> they look amazing. Okay, so this one is supposed to be Tucker's. Yep, and they're not home. Oh boy. And then this is Bertha. I love her house. I love all of these houses, honestly, but hers, I love the colors. Hi, Bertha. Look who's here, checking in on me before I've even finished unpacking. As of today, I can start stay saying that I'm from Rose Pond too. So, hello new neighbor. Hello Bertha and welcome. I love the inside of your house. So she's like into floral stuff. I know how I'm gonna decorate around your home. Lots and lots of foliage. Lots of 
plants. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this. There's cute little Tucker. I see you. Hi, Birdie. Thanks for inviting me to your island the other day. I'm all moved in now. And it's just like you said, Rose Pond is a real cool island. I'm glad you like it. It's only going to get cooler. <laughs> look, look how cute. So cute. I see ya. I love that outfit so much. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, we're, I think we're going to have to just do the 1000. Oh no. Wait, hang on. I think I have a 10,000. Please stay open. Please don't close. Please don't close. I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, I probably won't cry, but please stay open. Please, please, please. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I just want to shake my tree without hitting it. Okay. I hope this works. Run, birdie, run. Oh, please stay open. I don't know what happens if you walk away and you don't do anything to it. <gasps> it's still open. Yes. Thank you. Okay, no, don't accidentally close it. There we go. Whew, okay, stress over. Well, we have some tulips here. It's not the ones that I wanted. I was hoping that we would get some more black ones, but that's okay. We'll find somewhere to put these. Um, here, I'll put you right in front of this tree. Why not? I'm a bit on the sniffly side today. I really wish I could afford to hire a company to come get rid of these pine trees. My house is encased, enclosed, surrounded, whatever you want to say, by a bunch of pine trees and they are killing me. Hey, hey, so did I hear right? You're trying to drum up some hype for Rose Pond, Groom? I hope so. I want to be able to brag to everyone that I was there before Rose Pond got big. <laughs> Hyping up Rose Pond sounds like a ton of work though. You really do a lot for this place. Thanks for the recognition, Ursula. Actually, I've got something that I think might help. Look at her face. <laughs> right? So it's not huge or anything, but would showing off a sweet sandcastle be cool? It sure would be. What am I saying? Of course, it'd be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I trust me on this, so you should too. Thank you, Ursula. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go put it out right now. Here we go. This looks like a good place. Bam. And then let's put let's put um, the speakers right here. Oh, that's a lamp. There we go. Oh, look how cute. And I'm gonna register this song into it. <clears throat> Let's play that. There we go. <laughs> that might be a little too, too hard. And then here we will put our cherry lamp. Again, thank you, Vesti. Appreciate this. Oh, wait. Oh, is this a wall thing? Oh, this is a wall thing. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it was a floor lamp. My bad. We'll have to hang that in the house. Okay. First thing on the agenda, I want to go check my turn up prices. I tried to get on earlier this morning to check my turn up prices, but I really could not get my lazy behind up and moving. This morning, I was just like, nope. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm staying right here in this bed because this is what I need. I need to have a morning where I just binge watch some TV shows and then I'll get up. I wanted to and I was like, well, you could just go get the switch and bring it into the bed with you. And then I was like, no, I really don't want to save 30 second clips again. It is so tedious and I don't have the patience. 40 bells per turn up. This is not a good week. I bet yesterday was an amazing day too. And I, I wasn't on. Okay. So we do not want the turn up price or the, yeah, the turn up prices for today. 
We're going to bypass that. And we're going to get our tush on tomorrow. How about that? We are getting our tush on tomorrow. And I totally accidentally bought this eggshell hat. And Monday I was like, what? Why do I have two of them? And um, I watched it back and I was like, well, okay, that's why you have two of them. That's why. Because you bought the extra one when you were in the booth. Yeah, I do rewatch my videos um, once I upload them because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in the editor. When you're editing videos, it's um, anybody that edits is familiar with the process. You feel like you've gotten everything, but I've been known to mess things up when I put sometimes when I put in like the subscribe option at the bottom of the screen where it'll pop up and give my name and stuff and kind of hint to subscribe if you want to. Um, I've been known not to put my channel name and it'll say channel name and at channel name and I'll catch it and I'm like, oh my goodness. Well, it's out there now. <laughs> so now I look for inconsistencies like that. I'm not perfect. I make tons of mistakes. Um, editing is one of those, but I've actually been doing really well. I'm pretty proud of myself with the editing that I've been doing. I'm learning so much and trying new new tricks, new ideas, things to keep my videos entertaining and cozy and comfy for you guys. I, I really want to give you a good experience because, you know, I, I play and I enjoy it and then I upload it and you guys are so kind for watching my videos. Like, I appreciate it more than you know. So the least I can do is give you guys really nice <laughs> things to look at on screen every now and then mix it up oh i love that wall no no why are you looking at walls you're not allowed to look at walls no walls no floors you have no room for this stuff all right so what is on the agenda today we've checked our turn up prices we did not like our turn up prices hi bangle okay let's go get our fossils let's find fossils we found two of them today there will be six because i wasn't on yesterday um this is going to be different once past the prologue i think i've said this before too and i'm so sorry if i'm ever repetitive that's got to be annoying <laughs> um I just like to inform anybody that hasn't watched my previous videos. I don't make assumptions that people are watching every single video that I put out um, or even watching it all the way through. So with that said, after the prologue is finished, this is going to change a little bit how I do things because then I will be getting on every day. But I won't have like any major important messages that I want you guys to see. Um, and I know most of you have probably played this game. So it's like, oh, well, you know, I, I really don't care for the morning messages or I don't need to see that, that kind of stuff. So you can play every single day off camera if you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I like to think more in terms of people who are playing along with me and we're doing this together. You might be a little bit further than me because you are getting on every day and playing and that's okay, but it's still some shape or form. We are in this prologue together. We are really feeling the struggles. The struggles are real in the very beginning, especially after the 2.0 update. Oh my goodness. Starting over is really hard after the 2.0 update. It is not like it used to be, but I haven't really started over much this is my third time but i haven't done this in a very long time the starting over process and i haven't done it um too much in the 2.0 so this is all very a very new experience and it's even more new to me because i'm not time traveling and that is so hard. I have been so tempted, but I said, no, <laughs> we are not doing this. You're not time traveling. No matter how hard <clears throat> this gets, you are not going to do it. This is the one thing I need to, to promise myself and stick to. That I am not going to time travel. I'm going to take this day by day. I, 
I want to do 365 days of Animal Crossing, not time traveling. One, two, three, four. Okay, we need two more. So first things, we're just going to focus on getting fossils for right now, and I'm going to ignore everything else. I have a tendency to stray from what I'm doing, and having ADD, it makes it a little too easy to get distracted. So I'm going to stay focused. We're going to get these two fossils. Is red here? No. Okay. I haven't seen or noticed another villager in the the plaza so I wonder but then again I haven't really looked at the plaza um I wonder if maybe Flick or CJ I think is his name I never really mess too much with CJ I want to pick those weeds up do I have space yes I don't want these getting out of control I mean I know I can knock these down but I can also sell these weeds and I should pick these guys up too no, I didn't have space for that. No, 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 no. We'll get you later. I'll have to climb back up here later and get them. Because once I unlock terraforming, can you guys guess the first thing we are going to start doing on day whatever that is? <laughs> that day is going to be demo day and it's going to be so much fun. I hear a balloon. I think, or I'm hearing a waterfall. I just kind of ran around in circles just then, panicking because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Can I pop that up here? Yes, I can. <gasps> oh, barnacles. Oh no, I guess that's it for my slingshot. <laughs> oh no is right, girl. We lost it. What did we gain though? Recipe, recipe, oh, money love money we need that so much on here i have tons of it tons of it um on my daughter's switch but i'm not doing that that's cheating okay it's not cheating but for me it is because th that's not how i want to play it this time i really want to feel the struggle i never really felt the struggle of this game before <gasps> it's flick oh my gosh finally okay Nope, pay attention. Fossils first. We have an idea of where he is. <laughs> We're gonna go assess our fossils and then we are going to go to our house and get our buggies. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I'm still missing one. Let me check up here once more. Make sure. Nope, I think that's good. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I just, I'm so excited and I love this game so much. This, this time for me, when I get on and I do these recordings and I would do them every single day, but I really don't want to, I don't want to annoy anyone with putting out too much content at once. Um, I mean, obviously if you guys are like, yes, more, more, we want more, we don't care play every day, upload every day, then that, you know, that'll be fine. But I feel like also doing it this way kind of slows my pace down more so I can fully enjoy the game than before. You know, I wasn't even checking. Can those, I don't think they'll pop up on the edge right here. The fossils. I don't think so. And it was up there and I checked. Goodness me, where is this other fossil? Oh, but yes, so I don't want to, I guess the term is oversaturate when we're speaking about YouTube. Um, I don't want to flood my channel with too much and overwhelm you guys because one, I don't like making assumptions. So one of the assumptions I will never make is, yeah, um, people watch your videos every single day like you guys have lives <laughs> you have your own things going on maybe you have your own channels too and if you do what do you play on them let me know if you have a channel so i can check it out um but you know you've just got your own thing going that i can't assume that you're just waiting around for a little old birdie to put a video out 
and and if you are you are awesome and sweet um but i think like three four times a week of animal crossing is a really good balance and it gives me some days off to rest my hands because again my hands <laughs> my hands like blather says are the bane of my existence bugs are his my hands are kind of mine right now with the pain that i feel why maybe it's only maybe there's only five today right because i only missed the one day so maybe that's what this is nope there's one right here i'm just kidding oops oh look at our cherry trees thank you again bestie so much so so much you are awesome look they're so beautiful oh this one still has another day left i did that one a day short I'll go ahead and grab this too if i have room i don't have room i don't have room what are you doing yeah i do oh i missed it i might be a little hopped up on caffeine today guys i was <laughs> relaxing in the bed i had a cup of coffee while i was i was on the phone with um my fiance and then i was also watching stuff this morning like i said it's just been a lazy day for me and a much needed one too and then this afternoon i popped open okay i say this afternoon and it's only been afternoon for like 15 minutes but i popped open a ghost energy drink and i'm kind of addicted to them i'm, I'm not really an energy drink person because they are packed with sugar and calories so i've always avoided them but then one day my fiance brought home these ghost energy drinks and there's like five calories in them there's no sugar they're actually healthy for you to drink and it's all like natural so but the thing is is they've got all these different flavors like the one i'm drinking right now is the ghost sour patch my favorite one is the strawberry bubblicious the strawberry splash one that that one is so hard to find i think it's everyone's favorite and then i like the phase energy one as well so i might be a little hopped up on energy i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm not used to having this much energy at one time is energy overload but if you haven't tried ghost energy and you love energy drinks but you look for something that's on the low calorie or no calorie i mean i'm not gonna say no calorie they have at least like five they range between five and 15 from what i've seen so far um but if you're looking for something with no sugars and all that stuff that's going to make you slushy i know celsius has them they're good for working out if that's your thing i work out a little bit i'm building back up into it i used to do it all the time but i've kind of been lazy the last few years with uh covid happening and it's just all sorts of other things that i've gotten into i kind of stopped working out and now i'm trying to get back into it but it's not easy uh, make a donation uh these two please so yeah the ghost energy is it's good it it's yummy and it makes me feel energized but if i have it in addition to a cup of coffee it might be a little too much <laughs> <laughs> i haven't really eaten much today either so i think that's it too there's not much food to help absorb it but i am having a fantastic day i hope you guys are as well and that your week is going great it's what wednesday so we are halfway through the week i mean two more days you guys and it's the weekend and something about saying it's the weekend just i don't know even if i like back when i was working retail and i had to work the weekend i was still excited because i'm like it's the weekend even though i had to go to work and it's like most people get excited for it because you don't have to go to work and i'm like it's the weekend <laughs> yay greedy collector 1000 nice Okay, we have all of our fossils. Cute. And I just need some white pansies and we can make that wreath. So let's, let's gift. 
our villagers. I haven't done this in a while. Gifted them. I think the last I gifted, it was one of the days over the weekend that I did it off camera. There we go. And what is this? You know what? I'm going to gift somebody this eggshell so they can wear it with me. And I got to put all of these together so I see them. There we go. Um, who's... Oh, right. Do I have room for my bugs? One, two, three. I just need three. I don't know if I have three of the peacock butterflies. It doesn't look like it. Maybe I have one put away. I've been collecting these guys so I can give them to Flick. That's something I didn't do on any of my islands. I only did a couple of them. Like the, um, the really big butterfly. I can't think of its name right now. Um, that, that really, really big one though. It's really big, really pretty. Um, I did that one and oh no, it's just these guys. Okay. Well, I'll take the, the three that are outside then. Cause I always do those too. I've never done any of the other ones. It's always like the emperor butterflies, the really big butterfly <laughs> that's bothering me that I can't remember its name. Um, and uh the peacock butterfly those three were always my go-to so now i want to try different things well, let's go visit you real fast this is rattle's house i'm gonna have to move him too i moved everybody on land and now i regret it because i'm gonna have to move them look at him and his book and his house look at it how cute. I love these things. I can't imagine cooking without my infused water dispenser. I can think about making any kind of food with this. Gurgle gurg? Thinking about it doesn't make me less hungry, though. <laughs> I heard Rio is sick. Oh, no. I'll bet she's feeling lonely. Can you go say hi? See how she's doing? I'm going to get some snacks to take over rattle oh after my heart you are what's up um I, w I would definitely love to give you a gift now i mean i was already gonna give you one but now i would i really really need to give you one you're such a sweetheart oh an ankle tail i wonder who's gonna get the eggshell i don't remember which one it was Wow, thank you so many bunches. Here, man, <laughs> it's a conductor's jacket. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so now we have to go, and you can also make this as well. So we might do that instead. We're gonna make some medicine and take it to Rio. Oh, hang on. I don't think I have, yeah. I put that back down. So we need to grab out, I think it's under here. Yep, one of these guys, the wasp nest. I hope I have space. I probably should have checked. Okay. Yep. We're full. That's okay. I will put, no, I need those. Um, well, now I have room. I can put this in the storage and I'll probably sell that. I used to keep a lot of clothes out of laziness for not selling them, but now we need money. So we will be selling a lot of the unwanted stuff instead of me hoarding it thinking, oh, you never know when you're going to need this because I can always purchase it later. And the only things that you can't repurchase are um, anything, obviously, that was made. You can't purchase. And I think certain seasonal items. There's a, a long list of things that you can't repurchase. 
artwork is one of those. Um, Rio's this way. I was about to run into the resident services. I'm not ready <laughs> for that yet because trying to do these other things first. Don't worry, Rio. Help is on the way. I have some medicine. Poor thing. Can't get out to the store today to buy any, so I'm glad Rattle let me know. I mean, we would have eventually ended up here. Look at her. Oh, Rio. Oh, she's shivering. Come here, you sweet thing. Hey, birdie. Are you here to see how I'm doing? That's so cool of you. Here's some medicine. Medicine? Oh, wow. This is going to help me feel so much less grody. I want to go out because I'm starting to feel less gross, but I def should, ugh, should get some more rest. I want to thank you. So here's some bunny ears all. <laughs> Thanks again, Birdie. You're welcome. Birdie, be sure to take good care of yourself, okay? I wonder if I can give her anything else. Thanks to the medicine you gave me, Birdie, I'm feeling a lot better. You're the best. Okay, it doesn't look like I can give her anything right now. But I guess the medicine is probably considered a gift for the day. All right, who is next? Can I get this way? Yep. Ooh, don't run through those. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna end up running right through those. Nope, you're not home. Oh, you're right here. Uh, didn't I just see you over there? You don't have a twin, do you? Not gonna lie, the the sisterly personality traits can be so mean. <laughs> I've talked to her um, twice in one day and she said something mean to me and I was like, you know what, that, that doesn't encourage friendship. <laughs> I was just trying to give you a present. I didn't have it earlier, and I have it now. You don't have to be so mean. This is so awesome. What's in there? A diplo neck? Huh, nice. I never thought I'd have such a rad fossil of my own. Thanks. Surprise gift exchange. Here, take some coveralls with arm covers. Some coveralls. <laughs> Some coveralls, some overcalls. That's not a thing. It's just I, I jumbled up the words. Sorry, I'm on my break. But I have a gift to give you. Can you please get up? Please? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to be mean. I just need you to get up. I want to give you a gift. Yo, you want to chat? Oh, I can't give him a gift. That's right. He's new. I did all that for nothing. I'm so sorry, Tex. Hey, word on the street is that there's going to be a fishing tourney this Saturday. Normally, I'm not a big fish catching guy. I like to say what's up to them in the museum, you know? But I do want to win that trophy. And you've got to catch lots of fish to win. That's very true. And it's going to be so much fun. I will definitely record that. Oh, I can't give you anything. I can't give you anything. Rowan... Where are you at? Where's my Rowan? Hi, Bangle. I can't give you anything yet either. Hi, how's my bestie? What's the latest, girl? Tell me everything. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the Rose Pond Shore until I've walked that far. Ooh, girl, don't. Oh, your feet are going to kill you. Just call me Moon Tiger. <laughs> you sweetie. Who else? Let's look at... I like to, to use the map. Um, we haven't spoken with Wally and Rowan. Those are the only two I'm missing now. Everyone else I've spoken with or can't give a gift to. I think I've spoken with everybody, though. That's very important, so you can give gifts. Ooh, I'm sorry, Fishy. Lolly, are you home? You're home. I wonder if she's crafting. Because nobody else was. And nobody else is home. 
except Rio and Rattle. <clears throat> yes, she is hard at work. Hello, Lolly. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? I'm currently crafting a log bench. I just wanted to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Birdie, want to learn how to make your own log bench? I, I, sh I sure do. All right. I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Oh, no. Your pockets are too full. That's a shame, Bon Bon. It is a shame. And Lolly, just between us girls, my pockets are always full. We need to make some money. Okay, what? We can free up three spots if we go see Flick. That is what we were trying to do. <laughs> to go see Flick and then to give, not money, I almost said money, to give gifts to all of our villagers that we could give gifts to. Get it, buddy. Nope. Nope, it wasn't there. Maybe he was practicing his swing. Oh, uh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff. An insect enthusiast? An arthropod artiste? I love all bugs and their appendages! What? I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. We're so lucky, antennae, antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. <laughs> so if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. Uh, commissions? Oh, uh, are you interested? <laughs> His face! <laughs> I consider it my mission to bring the bugs beauty, however imperfectly, to places they haven't yet blessed. A bug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation, while we poor observers are flawed. Hey, speak for yourself. I seek to capture a shadow of that form, and while I do need live models to work from, I don't charge bells. If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring me three of them. Alright, commission a piece. Oh, I see. The time has come for we two travelers to begin our journey together. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? This one, please. Noble Raja Brooks Birdwing, can you part with three of them? They will be happy and safe with me. Yes, please. Scored a commission. I mean, um. And so our contract is bound, human. Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my coldened blood. When I have completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the Raja Brooks Birdwing by mail. He is quite a character, but while he is here, because he does pay twice more for the bugs, uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're just, we're gonna... What am I trying to do? This this is a that's a ladder. We are going <laughs> to catch a lot of bugs. Um, first, we are gonna put these items away here. Maybe somebody wants to sit in a chair by the nook's cranny that they can't get to because it's way over here and there isn't a bridge. Ooh, and a garden faucet. Um, you know what? No, it's all crowded over here. Let's put the garden faucet. We're going to put it right here. There we go. Um, these are things that you would put in a home. What do these look like? <laughs> Cute. Oh, I needed those for bunny day. 
Now we also need to go into the shop as well. So many things, so many things. So I might um, just do the bug catching off camera. We'll see how much time I have. I would have had more time if I would have gotten my tush going. So apologies for that. And also, do you guys like the long videos or do you prefer, prefer, <laughs> prefer, prefer, why am I like this? The, um, like one hour videos. Let me know in the comments if like, uh, if you don't mind videos that are longer than an hour. Just out of curiosity, I know some of mine have gone very long, so that's like something for me, I'd be like, oh man, okay, it's gonna take me a couple of days to to get to this, to get through the whole thing. Cause I can't just sit and watch three hours of anything. I'm ADD, I can't sit for too long. I have to get up and move around and do something different. Can I hang that on the wall from here? Yes. There we go. Thank you, Vesty. Here, let's make that more centered. Here, we'll hang it right there and move that one too. That's gonna drive me bonkers. All of these clocks I have, no like real purpose other than I don't have space in my inventory so we're just placing things on the ground now <laughs> that's okay can I put this in store no we're full I didn't know if it why did I buy this rug I should have known better I wonder if I can put it in between nope in between these rugs or if it's yeah it's too big I have four five five rugs in this room it's actually kind of cool that I managed that oh and then no this can go oops this can go outside hang on I'll take that back yeah I I really need to stop buying stuff because I don't have a room anymore. So until I get more, more space, I need to stop buying stuff. Or I will have to start selling things. Um, the drying rack, you know what? I think I'm gonna put that right over here. Actually, we're gonna put it by the Able Sister. No, I'm not. I, I might need that area to put more houses. Uh oh. We can go that way. We're good. What else do I have on me? All oh, these, these shirts. I'm gonna have to just place them down. For now. Oh wait, no, that's going to block me running through here. put this desk mirror on the ground. Oh, I hear a balloon. Oh, no, I forgot I need, um, I need another, hang on. We should be able to, no, what do I need to craft that? I don't have I don't think I have the materials on me I'm all over the place hardwood oh, let me 
any of it. <laughs> the first one I hit too. I was hoping to just go ahead and grab the hardwood needed. And I have a, um, a workbench placed on me and then I could just craft it before the balloon goes away. But I don't know if once you go into buildings, if it resets it. It might. I don't hear the balloon anymore. Yeah, it wouldn't have gone that far. They they take a while. Okay. Whoopsies. Okay, what else do we need to do? I can go get this recipe from Lolly, because we've cleared up some space, and then also give her her gift. And then these other gifts, I think I'm just going to set in front of people's houses so I know to give it to them. I still haven't found Rowan. He's probably in um, the museum. I don't know if you can give them gifts when they're in the museum either. Thank you, Lolly. Give it a try when you have the time and materials. Bon bon. Um, oh, before you start working again here, do you want this? For me, really? Of course. There you go. I hope you like it. Can I go ahead and open this? Sure. <laughs> An eggshell? You really want to give this to me? Absolutely. I'm gonna try this on now. We're twins! Thanks, I love how I feel right now. Good. We're twinsies. Look at her. <laughs> Cutie. She's concentrating so hard. Okay, let's go check out the Abel's sister's shop as well. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a log bench. Yeah, we did. I love the log benches. Now the LaBelle jackets in here. Ooh, these are cute. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna hold off. Hang on. I've changed my mind. Because I want to look and see. But first, hi. I want to talk to you, Sable. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? Don't worry. You'll eventually warm up. And we're going to be besties. Um, it's maybe a little too fancy and warm right now. <laughs> I don't remember which color she gave me. I feel like it was that one. have these. I want these. <laughs> Cute. And then is there a shirt? Maybe one of these shirts? Really? No. And I have to come out of pocket right now. I'm good with what I have. Yes, please. Um, no thanks.
Yeah, I don't have a shirt, so. Thanks, please come again. Of course. Right, that is all the money I'm spending on junk today. <laughs> that is it. Nothing else. Um, you know what? Let me actually just go ahead. I should have did this. Went ahead and just wore what was in the store. There we go. And then... This won't stay like this. I just... I don't have any space in my inventory. There we go. <laughs> that looks a little weird. Set out like that, but kind of cool too. Oh, right. When you, when you set these down, it's just on the ground like that. That is so cute. I love it. Okay. Everyone's received their gifts that I can give gifts to, except Rowan, who I cannot find. So I will place this gift wrong way. I will place this gift on the ground in front of his house. So I know that I want to give this to him. Okay, sort of in front of his house. So I want to try to clear as much of this up as possible. Yeah, this isn't much space. It gives me 10 spots. I still need to craft my, what is it, my slingshot and put a shirt on. We got to find a shirt. There's probably one in my home storage that I can grab out. wear this one today there we go I feel better now <laughs> all right let's go hit these trees over here so we can get some more wood not that I know where to put it everything is full oh this is gonna be fun I guess it doesn't matter which side you go on, you can't see. I just hit them all this direction. Oh okay, yeah, there's an item. So then that way I can just go down the line and pick everything up. Another spinning wheel. That's so weird because that's what I got out of the, these trees the other day. are lively. We got money, we got branches, items. You can get up to two items from trees a day. And I think I've tallied like 18 of those coins one time. I don't know if that's accurate though or if it's changed or 
if I'm remembering it correctly, there was a time where I was really obsessed <laughs> with this game and I had to know everything about it, but it's been so long that I really wish I had the ability to share my gameplay then because I was way more knowledgeable than I am today. But if you don't have a computer and a capture card, and you're really just doing it um, 30 seconds at a time, which is, it's awful. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh-oh. It's okay, we need to go through some of these because they're also taking up space. I just like to have quite a bit on me, save me time. And because I do a lot of this at night, and Timmy and Tommy aren't open anymore. It's just nice to have a few just to make sure I have enough. Plus, I really like having this tree farm because then this is, these are the trees that I plan to hit all the time. Every island, I always have a tree farm so I can get my resources. This one's a bit bigger than the other ones that I've had. Normally, I only keep like 10 trees. Um, but because I'm doing this differently, I need to have a lot more than just 10 trees. That way I can hit them whenever I get on and constantly have resources coming in. But here it makes it so easy because I can pull my net out, go shake all of these, make sure there's no bees, and then just go right behind and hit them. And this might stay here. I might just keep this as part of the island. I, I've already done all the work, right? Might as well keep this up and, and leave this right here. Just decorate around it. I can move my my river and stuff. Like I'll, the reason I, I'm, oop, I hit that one one too many times. The reason why I'm only doing the basic bridges is because they are only the lock ones anyways. <laughs> they're only 98,000 bells for them so they're, they'll be the easiest ones for me to get fully paid and built but I'm not necessarily going to keep them like the one that's there right now is I'm not keeping that one because I'm going to want to change how my river flows eventually so the bridges are going to have to go I'm hoping to get away with not having to have too much infrastructure on the island like um, staircases and stuff or inclines I mean you have to have inclines and bridges I'm hoping you don't have to have too many that maybe me just having two bridges will suffice and that will help get my three star rating up because I'm not worried about five star right now five star will come we'll get there eventually I'm more just trying to get to the terraforming process which we need our three stars to get there and we will. We should check that too before we go. But I, I definitely don't think I'm three star material yet. Oh, and a viewer let me know that you only need eight villagers to get the three star rating. So you do not need 10 like I, I thought you did. So that's really cool too. <clears throat> thank you so much for letting me know that too in the comments that's very helpful for myself and for anybody else that's looking for that information I appreciate you guys so much for letting me know um, certain tips and, and tricks in the comments that I might not fully know or understand or maybe I even get the information wrong so I do appreciate you guys commenting and correcting me and letting me know what it um, actually is because it doesn't just help me it helps anybody else that's looking for that too so thank you so much.
Oh, and there's that. Yay. <laughs> I forgot about that. Nook miles for miles. Thank you. I'm a novice rookie. And there's our beautiful log bench. All right. Um, what else do we need to do today other than craft? Oh, I hear a balloon too, so hurry up and craft it. <laughs> yes, we want to craft our slingshot. Why do I keep forgetting its name? All done. Oh, and Ursula's thinking about something. Hang on, Ursula. I gotta find this balloon. It's back here. I'm coming, Ursula. Oh, oh, wait. That's over the water. Nope. You know what? I'll come back to Ursula. Where'd she go? Hi. What's bothering you? Birdie, there's something I wanted to bug you about, if you've got a sec. What? I love it here, but I also want to check out other islands. I'm thinking of moving. Thoughts? Oh no. Ursula? Why do you want to leave? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no for now because I'm not ready for this. Don't go. Please stay here. Y you don't want me to go? Huh? Thanks. That means a lot. I've always been kind of impulsive, but maybe you're right. Maybe I should chill a little. All right. You're stuck with me at least for a little bit longer. Oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not leaving me. Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. I could have said that it was okay for her to go and she would have ended up and her house would have ended up in boxes. She would have started packing. Um, I think the next day is when they would do it. So... But I, I don't want her to leave. And if I'm being honest, it's mostly because she is the only sisterly that I have on the island. And um, each personality trait gives you different recipes. A balloon hat. So, oh boy. So if I asked her to leave, she is my only sisterly right now. I wouldn't get any of those sisterly recipes that they give you when they're crafting. So I can't say bye. But anyways, I have hit my trees. Um, we need to hit our rocks next. You know what? Let me... Did I pick up my workbench? am I missing up here? Oh, one of these. Oh, hang on. No, that's not where my axe was. It was right here. I'm weird like that. Okay. Cool. Where did my bench go? Oh no, I want to place this out, actually. I want to go ahead and customize my my shovel. I don't know when I last did it. I'm going to do the blue one. I am going to go... No, I was done. <laughs> I was done with that. Just kidding. I'm going to go... Hit my rocks real fast. I think there's one right here. And okay, there used to be one right here. I think I broke it. Just kidding. There was a rock there, and then I broke it. Yeah, because now they've spawned here. So there's two of them over here. That that works out actually. And that that's not gonna work. I don't think the way this is. Yep, we're good. Never mind. I was going to say, the way the rock is facing, I don't know if that'll work. But after I hit my rocks, I am going to call it a day. 
And then I'm gonna get on later after lunch and I'm gonna go catch some bugs. I don't know that I have enough time now because it's already one o'clock. I've got a few other things I have to do before my youngest gets home. So otherwise I would do that on camera. Busy mom life, but I am very blessed and fortunate to be called a mama. I'll let you guys in on a secret. Um, so last year, I don't know if I've told you guys this story. I had to get a, um, a medically necessary hysterectomy because of cervical cancer and then other uh, lady complications. <laughs> um, so I... I can't have kids anymore. Everything's been taken, all of those parts. So my two kids, that's all, all I'm gonna be able to have. Unless I decide to adopt one day, but you know, my kids are two years apart. So I think I'm, I think I'm good. But I, the reason why I was saying this is because I am very grateful that I was able to have my two kids before that happened because I wouldn't get to know these wonderful human beings that are in my life that call me mom every single day that I get to hug and kiss I'm very grateful very very grateful and love being a mama so it, it does you know take up a lot of my time which is why these videos take a while to come out so I appreciate you guys being patient and still watching them even still and understanding that my job as a mom comes before anything else and their happiness, I won't say comes before my happiness, but it does, it, it, they are side by side. They're one and the same because if mom's not happy, how can I make sure my kids are happy? So mom does have to take care of herself too. So there are just gonna be times where I'm like, no, I'm not going to record today. I need I need Animal Crossing to be about me. <laughs> this is just what I need. So if ever I get on and something is different, you guys are like, whoa, when did she build that? That was just one of those moments where I needed to have a me day. Me and Animal Crossing. Most likely it's because I was in handheld mode. I, I will take my Switch upstairs with me in handheld and hang out in the same room as my family while I'm playing. So that way I can still have conversations and hang out while everybody's just kind of lounging and lazing about. Like my young one who likes to play Roblox, she'll be playing Roblox and I can play Animal Crossing while she's yelling at her friend to do something. And I can also kind of moderate that. She can be a bit testy. My youngest has, <laughs> she has an attitude. She's definitely one of those that will rage quit. I'm trying to trying to rework that in her, get her to be a little more kind and understanding and patient. But you know, that's not easy because some people we're just set in stone. Some of us, there's no working around anything. So basically the lesson for her lately is how to be a friend, how to be patient when it comes to your friends because having friends is it's a rare gift honestly it's not easy to make friends especially in today's world that we live in where everything is just done online it's not personal anymore not intimate like it used to be I remember there were times where I could go to the grocery store and make a new friend now it's it's hard everybody's kind of succumbed to their own devices I'm guilty of it too. When I grocery shop, I'm looking down at my phone to look at my grocery list. I don't have a paper in hand. So I try to change that about myself, be a little more 
open and intimate with people, wrong thing, when out and about. Try not to stay so glued to my phone, which for me, that's not really a big issue. I'm not a big technology person. I was, there was a time where I was, but now not so much. I have social media, but I don't really use it. I have an Instagram. I'm not very active on there, not gonna lie. I will get on there every now and then and look at stuff, but I have a tendency to stay on there too long. Like you get sucked into all the cool stuff that you see and I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna do that. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, yep, we're good. And there's a balloon. One last balloon. Please be a recipe. So we've hit all of our rocks and we hit our trees today. We should probably see. Just make sure Tom Nook doesn't need anything. Check our island rating. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I think I remember this one. I'm gonna place it. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I haven't seen that color, though. I've seen, I think it's the, the brown and green one. That one's really pretty, too. I am not having much luck with these recipes. Anybody else having the same issue as me? Cardboard boxes? Okay. I'll leave that stuff sitting for now. I really don't have the space. <clears throat> when we get more home space, then we'll do something. I'm going to see if there's anything we need to do. Nope, it looks like he's going to say the same thing that he has said to me the last two times I've asked. Yep, talking to Isabel. All right, we'll do. Okay, so we don't need to ask him what should I do anymore. This is basically now between me and Isabel. Oh, Birdie, good afternoon. How can I help you today? Let's talk island evals, please. So you're curious about the current image of Rose Pond? Right now, oh, it's changed. Rose Pond has a two-star rating, you guys. We're two-star now. There's some positive buzz floating around about our island. Folks are starting to take notice. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I've gathered. I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority and I've got ideas. Here's one. I feel like a fellow's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if that place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle. Add some bustle. Make your island a port of call that'll turn heads and drop anchors. <laughs> I know who that's from. <laughs> I think Mr. Um, okay, I know who it's from, but now I can't think of his name. Golivar, Mr. Golivar <laughs> would really like it if we were more welcoming for his anchors. Anchors, ahoy. Compared to previous reports, the island's natural environment is getting some positive feedback, but that doesn't mean our work is done, not in the slightest. It means it's time to work all the harder, improve the island's natural landscape. When you're considering natural beauty, what's the very first thing you think of? Hmm, natural beauty? Is it gonna be more more trees or flowers? Yep, flowers of course. So we need to put more flowers down. Okay. And there you have it. So it's still flowers. I think people is good. Like we've got enough people, we just need more flowers. I'm good for now. Alright then, if there is anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. I won't. And let's go ahead and check the nook stop. Yep, we're a little behind, so we only get that 50 bonus. One of these days I'm gonna get on every single day. One of these days. Is there anything here I would like to get? Ooh. This please. Yes. I keep purchasing these and then not doing anything with them. I'm just waiting. Um, yes, but we're gonna go look at the Nook shopping part. Oh, 
All cute. I've never seen that color before. And then all of these are the same. Okay. Um, we'll get these. And I'm gonna buy this. I'm, I'm looking at the inexpensive stuff to purchase. Barnacles. Okay, that's gonna be it for today then on the purchases made. I've, I've really gotta watch money here. I'm actually gonna deposit 20,000 of this and then give 5,000 to our buddy outside. And then whatever I make from Flick, I'm just gonna end up giving to Lloyd for the bridge. So hopefully the bridge can be built tomorrow. So I'm hoping to have that paid off today. It's only 98,000 bells. I've done this before, before I knew what time traveling was and how to do the little turn up um, system, how to make that work in your favor. I just fished basically, because that's all I knew to do was just go fishing and sell fish, bugs, that kind of stuff. Whatever blathers didn't need, I was just selling to Timmy and Tommy. So that is, that is what I will do today because Flick is here. I can get a lot of money. So I will probably get back on um, after I get my youngest off the school bus and finish helping her with her homework and stuff. Then I'm going to get on and catch bugs because I definitely want to do it during the day when the bugs are more active. But anyways, I <laughs> am going to get out of here. Um, this is the end of, I think, day 14. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into these videos and watching them and, and commenting on my videos and encouraging and, and subscribing. This, I really feel like I'm doing something that it's not just for me, it's for other people too, that you guys really truly enjoy these videos. So that makes me incredibly happy. But I will catch you guys for uh, day 14, probably Friday I will have a video out. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. Well, I guess not seeing you, but <laughs> from hanging out with you on, on Friday and, um, you know, for all the comments that you guys leave. Thank you. I look forward to them every single day and I'll catch you guys later. So much peace, so much love and happiness. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and a wonderful Thursday. Bye now.